we got the race weekend at Le Mans underway in pretty perfect conditions. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right for our drivers and for their machines. It was Jochen Hahn on pole position alongside Antonio Albatetti, a pairing that is usually at the sharp end of the field, with Norbert Kisch starting from fourth after receiving a penalty for impeding in qualifying. It was a good start for Shane Brereton in the number 17 machine, getting a good jump on Stefan Fass. But ideally, at the front, Jochen Hahn would hold on to the lead despite some very frantic 2v2 stuff through the chicanes. Andre Kurzin would unfortunately come to strife early on in the lap after contact with Steffi Halm. But he was able to continue despite Steffi getting a drive through later on. Sasha Lenz remained in fourth position for most of the race, but had a fantastic view of the battle in front of him while the rest of the field jostled for position in their little duos and trios further down the order. Norbert Kish was still trying to attack Antonio Albatetti, while Stefan Fass managed to land himself right in the middle of the field with battles going on all around him. Unfortunately though, for Stefan, he would get a 10 second penalty by the time the race was done for over speeding, but it was Jochen Hahn that was speeding just right at the front of the field, leading the way and making the gap bigger and bigger as we go. Some interesting slides further down for Luke Garrett as he found the limits in his truck, lap after lap. But the real battle to keep an eye on was second, third and fourth. Albatetti, Norbert Kish and Sasha Lenz. The three of them very entertaining all the way through. Norbert Kish had so many opportunities but just wasn't able to get it done. Even though Antonio made a slight mistake, Norbert just wasn't close enough at the time. But out of the final corner, to take another win in his phenomenal career, Jochen Hahn took the chequered flag ahead of Albatetti. Jochen Hahn miles ahead by the end after the fantastic battling that was going on behind. Norbert Kish was third and Sasha Lenz would finish in fourth. Jochen, his team, his wife, everybody very happy. Antonio Albatetti's team over the moon as well. And a very usual trio of drivers on the podium. The important point is you must look how many first rows Antonio and me we have together in the last couple of 15 years. <laughs> lot, so, yeah. yeah, so it's many years and it's. Did, a, did you yeah. count them? No, it's, no, it's no. a pleasure. You know, we are the old guys and it's a pleasure to, to be one and second. So, from this side, we are very happy. The old guys. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think we are old guys, but we keep very good in form, you know. And Antonio Albatetti was not joking. Fantastic racing from the old guys, as they'll now be known. Jochen Hahn takes the win. Albatetti 1.7 seconds back, just defending from Norbert Kish, with Sasha Lenz and Adam Lachko rounding out the top five. Then it's Shane Brereton and Jamie Anderson. Stefan Fass was eighth ahead of Luke Garrett, and Andre Kurzim was in tenth after a penalty for Heinrich Clemens Hecker. He got a 10 second penalty as well as Stefan Fass for overspeeding throughout the race. The stewards once again showing they have no tolerance for such things. Louis Requenco would be 11th, Heinrich Clemens Hecker 12th, and Steffi Halm would be 13th after she had a drive through later on. But it was Jochen Hahn who dominated the first race, and we'll see whether he can do the same in race two.